Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a love connection reading session for you, Taurus. I hope you're fine. I hope you're well. This reading for today is for the second week of June 2020. And this is for my Taurus friends out there, okay? What can I get for Taurus, please? What is the love connection reading for Taurus sign? In today's reading, Taurus, I'm going to be looking at the past situation for you, Taurus. All right? Let's look at the past energy, past situation. Okay? And then we're going to look at your energy. Your person's energy, feelings, blockages from past to present. And then we'll pull one more card as the mutual energy between the two of you. And I'll pull another three cards to close it off. I'll do it later. If there is an extended of this reading, I'll let you know. To access extended reading, the link will be down in the description box. Okay? So let's start your reading. So your first two cards, okay, in the past position, past energy is the tower. Okay? I felt like there's some sort of breakup or separation or a huge shake up. Okay? Something has changed dramatically um in your situation and you're really really figuring out and having the courage to move on with it to accept the leftover of the situation but you've got the strength card in here next to the tower so whatever it is that took or blew out the situation or tower card this is a collapse okay something needs to stop something needs to go away something needs to be you know, it's the tower card. It seems to be destructive if if you look at its energy because it's inevitable. Okay, the tower card strikes when there is a need for a foundation, an old way way of thinking, an old love, an old behavior, a system that's not working well. That is where the tower card comes along. So in your past energy, you've got a tower moment. So for some of you, this could just be temper. This could just be someone exploded, angry, upset. Someone was not contented about something. As simple as that. Okay? This could be your mindset or this could be an actual thing or an actual situation that took place. There's a possible breakup or a major fight that challenged you and your person. Okay? The love connection. Next to it is the strength card. It seems to be there was a sort of apology for some of you. Or you're standing strong in spite of this tower moment, okay? I'm really getting too vibe in here. It could be you, it could be them, but someone is not surrendering, you know? Look at the lion, how he looks so fierce and um, resilient after the tower card. So one of you is not giving up, okay? One of you is actually apologizing. One of you is having the courage to move forward after the tower, okay? could be you it could be them but i felt like you know this is major but i'm not giving up i'm here i'm very resilient i'm even giving you a rose okay it was tough it was complicated it was possibly for some of you a major fight but i'm not giving up okay could be you it could be them but you know we had worse than this and we have survived or we had a lot of fight and this is something that i won't give up I'm really getting the word, I won't give up. I'm not just going to leave it like this. I'm in for the long haul, okay? Most especially if you got the Eight of Cups here in reverse, you know? Eight of Cups in upright position, this is moving on. All of the glass is in, in the ground, it's broken, you know? I'm, I'm moving on, okay? But this is in reverse. So you and your person or your situation in the past, you came to a point where... The emotions, insecurity, attitude, behavior, temper. It's been challenged. I felt like you and your situation in the past, you have you have a variety of fight and challenges. And that person or you, it you won't stop from there. Not now. You know, it's it's more of I have accumulated this pain and gain. I have accumulated this amount of hatred. We move on. We get back. So this tower thing that took place in the past, Father of Swords, it doesn't make it's it's not making sense to give up now after all of this. Okay. So 
it could be you, it could be them, but I felt like there's someone in here that this is not the time to give up. Okay, after all of the connection and hate and pain and going back and forth, this is just one of those days or one of those challenges that like the strength card and like the king of swords. Let's stay positive. Let's be optimistic. Let's apply courage and let's apply logic and find some sort of compromise. Okay, look at the snake. The tongue is out and it's actually spitting out some sort of information and saying, let's be logical, okay? Let's have courage to face each other and let's be logical. Because I felt like this this is an extra card. This is a jumper. The king of swords in here, sorry, the king of wands in here is that I'm still passionate. And this is the thing why this person, you know, this king of wands, this is the reason why this person is not giving up, you know? Because for them, a fight is a fight. A distraction is 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 also it's more of when you you know when you when you destroy a house when you destroy a house you use your energy and your action and your passion to destroy something and from there you can rebuild by using your passion and action so this is how this person sees the situation is that whether it's good or bad I'm using my passion towards it. So it doesn't make sense if I give up now. After reaching this moment, this time, the variety of fight and love and fight and hate and love that we have. This is nothing compared from what I ex experience in life for some of you. This is a very resilient person. And the king of wands also is, is a person who is a doer who will walk in fire to make things happen for whatever purpose they want to do, okay? So the situation in the past for you, Taurus, is about, like you, you're very resilient, okay? This could be you. You're the bull. You're stubborn, but you're very resilient. The strength you have is you will endure everything for as long as there's love, passion, and some sort of interest, whatever it is that you're trying to pursue, whether it's love or life, Okay, so I really get that you're not surrendering or your person is not surrendering. So let's look at the individual individual energy. You've got four of wands, so you're very passionate. Okay, um, four of swords. Wow, four and four. Yep, you have identified, Taurus, that there is an issue. Okay, you, ha you have identified that there is an issue. There's something to be worried, but... You are standing strong and very optimistic that things would turn around fine. Okay, you're very practical into this. There's a problem. Let's resolve it. <clears throat> Something went down. Let's, you know, let's group. let's use our strength to rebuild it. So you're just black and white, as simple as that. Your person, nine of wands, three of pentacles. And the mutual energy between the two of you is the page of pentacles. I felt like your person, they're trying to avoid. Um, nine of wands in reverse, this is very... They're showing something, nine of wands, this is actually a wounded warrior in a traditional deck. But with this... They want to start all over again, okay? Um, there's a keenness with your person because the mutual energy is the page of pentacles. Let's um let's pull more cards. What's the nine of wands and three of pentacles? Ooh, oh god, what happened to your card? Ooh, okay, this is it. Okay. So ten of swords, the six of pentacles, and the five of cups. Okay. So I think the the next action between you and your person is, first of all, you guys need to communicate, all right? First of all, guys, in order for this tower that collapse, if you want to rebuild it again, you need to start from scratch or you need to communicate first. Find the, um, find the comfort zone again, like be comfortable again with communication, I see your person, they're not yet prepared right now because nine of wands, three of pentacles. They will be a bit aloof or stingy when it comes to giving effort. 
but I think they would be responsive, but a bit cold or aloof or playing safe. For them, they still need to get over what took place in the past. And Six of Pentacles, they have a feeling of, um, will this still work out? Okay, because I felt like your energy, your energy in here, Taurus, is that you're the one who's a bit resilient. You're the one who's, we've, we've gone through a lot. This is nothing compared to to others or this there's a solution what i get from your energy is that there's a solution if we talk there's a solution your person is that i'll talk to you but there's a lot of on and off or up and down indecisive moment with them okay you would you would get to talk it's okay tomorrow the energy would be different ten of swords they're still figuring out whether this is the right thing to do okay they would talk they would communicate on and off okay this is them displaying inconsistent because they could not decide okay part of them six of pentacles in reverse is it worth investing they're scared that this thing in the past would happen again and it would it makes them sad you know they aren't as strong as you are so whenever there's a fall down or falling apart they're very much affected you know so look at them five of cups they're very sad okay they're very sad about you and them and having to experience this moment, okay? It's a loss, okay? You're not the only one in you're not the only one hurting Taurus. Your person is also hurting. But the thing with your energy is that you bounce back quickly. Okay? With communication, you can bounce back quickly. Your person needs time to to be angry, to be upset, to be sad. It's more of give me time, I need to be sad. You know, because if you are sad and you haven't moved on, so even if you guys communicate, it would be cold. Okay, it will take a bit for it. Let your person, let your person grieve sad. Because even if you guys communicate, it wouldn't be wholeheartedly part of them is having the Ten of Swords and the Six of Pentacles where they have hesitation, they have um, indecisiveness around them. Okay. But the fact that they're replying, this is the tip, okay? Communication is the key. If they're still replying, even though it's aloof, even though it's empty, it is a reply. That is an indication that they are trying. Remember that, okay? So, and Venus is in retrograde and Venus is your sign, okay? So be kind, be supportive, be empathetic, okay? This pace shall pass when your person is ready when they're out of the sadness then that is where your person would decide whether to move forward okay but right now communication is really really important it won't die okay it will still be there and i'm seeing three 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 so keep it going keep it positive keep it light and um it's more of you taking charge of it you know, if you can't love them right now, then be friends with them. Okay? So this is you. This is your reading. Thank you so much, Taurus, for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. I'll see you soon again. You have a great weekend. Bye-bye.